In this video, we will cover how to take a search strategy created in Ovid Medline and translate it into the Cochrane Library. This video assumes you have already developed a comprehensive search strategy in Medline, so if you need help getting your search started, you can contact a librarian at kellogg at dal.ca. When translating your search, it's important to have a table with all of your databases included so you can record your translated terms in one place, so be sure to set that up in advance. Once you have created your table, you can begin working on translating your search, and each time you translate a term from your search, be sure to include it in your table. For the purpose of this video, our research question is, in patients with osteoarthritis, is yoga an effective treatment for reducing pain? Our main concepts are osteoarthritis, yoga, and pain. Here we have a comprehensive search strategy in Medline format, which includes a combination of keywords that are searched in the title, abstract, or author-supplied keywords of the database's records, as noted by the .ti, .ab, .kf after the term, and subject headings, as noted by the exp before a term, if it has been exploded, then a slash, or just a slash after the term, if it has not been exploded. In line 3, there is a keyword phrase. In Medline, you do not need to put keyword phrases in quotations, but in other databases, it's a good idea to put keyword phrases in quotes, so you can be sure the database will interpret it correctly. While the search strategy is shown here, you can also find the detailed search strategy in the script found in the description below. We want our search in Cochrane to resemble the same format as much as possible, except we want it to have the correct field commands, so Cochrane will run the search properly. Let's go to the Cochrane Library using our Dalhousie Libraries Access, which you can find a link to in the description below or by searching the Databases tab on the Library search bar. Once you're in the Cochrane Library, click Advanced Search, then click Search Manager to start translating a comprehensive search. From here, let's start with line 1 of our search, which is a subject heading. In Cochrane, the subject headings used are MeSH terms, which is the same in Ovid Medline. Therefore, if we already know what our MeSH terms are, we just need to enter them in the Cochrane search fields using the correct format. To search an exploded MeSH term in Cochrane, we are going to enter open square bracket, small mh, space, then double quotes, osteoarthritis double quotes, closing square bracket, then click continue. For line two, our osteoarthritis keyword, our Medline search is using the field commands for title, abstract, and author-supplied keywords. We can use these same commands in Cochrane, except we will replace the KF with KW to search the term in the record's keyword field. Therefore, the line 2 search will be osteoarthritis colon TI comma AB comma KW. Now we click continue. In line 3, we will run the phrase search for degenerative arthritis by entering double quotes degenerative arthritis double quotes colon ti comma ab comma kw so it runs properly in Cochrane. Then we click continue. From here in line 4, we will enter pound symbol 1 or pound symbol 2 or pound symbol 3, then click continue. We have now translated the first four lines of the Medline search into the Cochrane Library. Now is a good time to add these terms to the translation table. Returning to our search, let's repeat the process with the subject heading for yoga. Note that we did not explode yoga in our Medline search. So to run this concept correctly in Cochrane, we will enter open square bracket small mh space the caret symbol then double quotes yoga double quotes closing square bracket. Then we click Continue. Moving on to our keyword for yoga in line 6, we will enter yoga colon ti comma ab comma kw and click Continue. Now to combine the searches in line 7, we will enter pound symbol 5 or pound symbol 6, then click Continue. We have now translated the first seven lines of the Medline search into Cochrane. And now is a good time to pause and double check that all of the terms have been recorded in the translation table. Here we see that I have jumped ahead and repeated the same process for our pain concept. In line 8, pain is an exploded mesh term. Pain is also shown as a keyword with the commands to search it in the title, abstract, and keyword fields. And we have kept the small asterisk on the end of the term as Cochrane can also interpret these commands that account for differences in word endings. 
In line 10, I have combined the mesh term and keyword for pain using OR. Now, in line 11, I have entered pound symbol 4 and pound symbol 7 and pound symbol 10 to come to our final set of results by clicking the number to the right of the search box. It is now a good idea to double check the translation table and make sure all of the terms are included. If you would like more information on using the Cochrane Library, feel free to check out the video in the description below, along with our other videos on translating searches to CINAHL and Embase. You can also contact us for assistance with your literature searching by email at kellogg at dal.ca. Finally, Dalhousie Libraries has a helpful subject guide where you will find lots of helpful information and tools to help you with your knowledge synthesis projects, including how to properly document your search results, manage your references, and resources for other steps of the review process. You can find a link to this guide in the description below. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie Libraries, check out the links in the description below.